Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I've been doing. Currently I've just been playing Fate, but I figured today uh, I was going to do a video trying to very, very, very... What am I trying to say? I'm trying to give a simple version of how to farm with Scotty. Now obviously Scotty is the big hot unit um, because she's a very pretty girl. Um, but she's also extremely good for farming, she's extremely good for quick servants, she's basically what builds, she carries basically the quick meta on her back, pretty hardcore, her and the quick servants, obviously. Uh, the thing I'm trying to say here is, is that, but a lot of people don't understand, I guess, how to farm, farm with Scotty, because she's very different from doing something like with Waver, or Merlin, or even, um, Tamamo, who I'm not saying her name right, the fox one. <laughs> Apologies for all the, her fans out there. Um, so today's video is just going to be focused on that. I don't, I'm not going to say that I'm the greatest guide on it, so if you actually want more, because I'm going to try and focus this to be as simple as possible. If you want some more stuff that's kind of like maybe in-depth, um, I'm going to, I'll have a bunch of guides in the links, a lot of places where I just kind of look at, these are the kind of resources I use to kind of learn the game, so then I can pay it forward, teach you guys, but then of course if you actually want the deep stuff, go to them and try and, you know, figure stuff out. So anyway, that's going to be today's video. If you like it or you find it helpful, remember to hit that like button, it helps me a whole bunch, and remember to also comment if you have some more questions about why a certain unit, if a certain unit would be good, I will more than love, I would love to answer you. Uh, if you saw my video on the Fake Grand Order Guide thing, I still answer people's questions to that, who that come in, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Alright, so let's start. Well, here's the first thing you need to know, let's look at Scotty herself. Um, so the first thing you actually 100% need to do is I need to get rid of this because it will bother me the entire video. Okay, cool. Uh, spoilers if you read that. So here's the two things that you need to pay attention for. You need to get her skill 3 to level 10, and you need to get this one to level 10 as well, Prim Primordial Rune. These two are extremely important for farming her. I would. A lot of people would kind of say, like, you shouldn't even... Really, you can't really even do Scotty farming if you don't have at least this at 10, and I've been able to get it done successfully at level 7 with the first skill, but I'm getting it to 10 as soon as I can. And this skill you can kind of focus on last, um, especially because a lot of material for stuff you maybe might not have, uh, but over time you will get it. And if you have, if I had a specific order, I would say All, Father, All Father's Wisdom, first one, because at level 10 it gives 50% NP charge, and I believe at level 1 it's only 30%. Actually, let me double check on that real quick. Yep, it's 30% at uh, skill level 1 and 50% at skill level 10. 50% NP charge is insane, no matter how you cut it. And the second you can get 50%, a lot of a lot of units are just good because they can charge themselves to 50% NP. The fact Scotty can do it to anyone is insane. It's extremely good. Even Waver, for example, has he gives 50%, but it's broken up into all his skills. 10% on skill 1, 10% on skill 2. No, it's 30% on skill 1, and then 10% on the other 2. My bad, I forget about that. Uh, at least I think that's the way it is. Did I, have I stopped using waiver so much that I don't remember? Yes, okay, it is. <laughs> skill 1 is 30%, 10%, 10%. Anyway, let's go back to the woman of the matter. And then her skill 1, it gives quick damage performance and crit damage. That doesn't really matter for the most part, unless you're fighting an extremely hard foe. Um, at level 10, she gives 50% quick damage and 100% qu quick crit damage. That's hard to say for me. And then at level 1, it's 30% and 50%. Uh, and then her sk second skill, if you just need to know what it does, it reduces all enemy defense for 3 turns. At level 10, it's 30%, and at level 1, it is 20%. It also lowers crit chance at 20% at skill 1, and 30% at skill 10. Alright, easy enough to learn. So you really want to get make sure that uh, her skills are at the maximum level. And then here's basically how it works. Uh, a lot of the units that are used specifically for Scotty farming are units that have a lot of hit counts and can get a lot of NP generation back. Um, specifically, the reason is, is that you want to basically hit overkill while you're doing the Noble Phantasm. Um, and once you have all those other hits hit them, you, cha you charge your NP that way. So a unit, for example, that has a very high uh, hit, hit count and or NP generation will be able to get their stuff back really quick. So 
To kind of show this as an example of something, let me specifically, I save these units for this, to specifically talk about this. So you'll see here we have Fran, we have Tamokitty, and we have Lancelot. Uh, all three of these are AoE quick servants, and only two of them are used for Scotty farming. Um, one of them is Lancelot, and the other one is Fran. Um, and nobody uses Tamamo. Now you would think is it because her noble phantasm uh, stuns herself? That's actually not the reason. Because Fran stuns herself and people found a way to still farm with her by having other characters remove her stun for her. Um, so that's not the reason. The reason is specifically the reason why Lancelot and um, Fran are used and not Tumamo is because first of all, all Berserkers have very low um, NP generation. But these two have a way to get it back. So you can see right here on skill one, Fran has a way to get her NP back, which I believe it is, I wrote it down right here. At skill 10, it's 45% uh, NP generation for three turns. And for Berserker, it's his skill three. And at level 10, it gives 100%, but only for one turn. But at 100%, that's enough to get at least over 50% of your NP back. Um, and that's what's really important here is that you want to, and then the, they also hit, I believe he hits 10 times and she hits six times with her Noble Phantasm. So basically what you want to do is with one of the hits, get them down into overkill damage. And you have to, in order to get into overkill mode, you have to deal as much HP damage as possible. Some people think that it's because of, um, you have to have the unit fall down to zero HP. That's not the case, because in which case, if that were the case, all you had to do was kind of lower the damage of an enemy and then hit them with your Noble Phantasm. That's not the way you do it. The way you do um, the way you do it is that it has to deal... People don't even know if it's a bug or not, but you have to deal as much damage as they had at full health, and then you enter an overkill state, and then that's the way it goes. And then, yeah. So that's what ends up being important. So there's two factors into it when you want to get a Servant to run alongside Scotty is that one, they have to have a lot of NP generation and two, their Noble Phantasm has to, one moment, has to have multiple hits in it. Now you notice here, you don't see the number of hits on here. Um, this is where having a wiki on hand is extremely important. Like a lot of the wikis kind of tell you how many hits certain ones do, or you could actually just use the unit yourself and then you can count the hits that way. But if you want a easier way, you can just look at the wiki and it will tell you. Uh, that's how I kind of work, uh, work into it. Now, let me see here. Let me back up. So what are some units that are quick and AoE that actually are very good with them? Okay, so let's see. Of the ones that I currently own, and I'll mention some of the ones I don't own after I'm done with these, we have Achilles. We have um, Atalanta. I don't know why I forgot her name there for a second. We got Astolfo, uh, Summer Scotty, not Summer Scotty, Summer Skahawk, Fran, you're not in it, so I'm just going to multi-select you away. Your purpose of teaching is gone. I'm going to go do that real quick. There we go. Um, Murray Antoinette. And that's not it. There's a couple more. I remembered one. I forgot. To, I didn't forget to include them. I just never broke them out of jail. Let me go into the second archive. Uh, there she is. Summer Ishtar, and it's because specifically her skill 3 gives her NP generation on it. You have to, of course, time it very carefully, I think, with her. Um, anyway, let's go back here. And then the ones that I don't have that are extremely good, um, Dantes. Actually, the number one unit, as far as anyone concerned, with quick farming and Scotty is Dantes. The reason is, is that I believe he gets 100% NP back on... Not 100% NP. Let me... He has a skill that gives him MP generation, and it's like for an insane amount. Uh, and he also has multi hits on his um, uh, Noble Phantasm. He hits like a whole buttload with him. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, so for three turns, he gets 50% MP generation on his skill two, which is called Golden Rule A. Uh, and then his Noble Phantasm has eight hits into it, so very good. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, the other ones that are very good are Parvati and uh, Valkyrie. And I want to say the top units you kind of look at for farming is those three and Atalanta. Um, some of these other units end up being a little bit hard to... Not hard, but those are the ones that can just do it themselves. Uh, 
No, that's not accurate either. So here's the next part. And this guy is also going to be important for later, but I'll come back to him. Let's go to craft essences now. Okay. So for here's the other thing that's kind of important that's also kind of hidden away about uh, Scotty farming. A lot of those units I showed you, some of them can only farm if you have a max unlimit broken kaleidoscope, which gives 100% NP. Um, the reason why is that basically you get a free NP uh, thing at the beginning and then you go for it. But even then, not all those units just having a, a max and limit broken kaleidoscope is enough. The only ones that I want to say that can only need this and nothing else, like no other mystic code or no other unit, um, is... Well, someone's phone went off. Anyway. Um, the only units I can kind of use this... God, why did that phone go... I'm going to go check on that phone. Give me a sec. Couldn't find the phone. Anyway. All right, to get back into it. Um... The units that basically only need a Kaleidoscope and Scotty are Dantes, Valkyrie, Parvati, and Atalanta. Uh, the reason is that they create their own NP generation and it's all good. And there's no real issue with it right there. Um, if you don't have it max and limit broken, you can use one that is just by itself. And then if you don't have that, that's when you're kind of a little bit screwed. Because the next thing, some other, here's some other craft essences that you can use with them. Um, you can use Holy Knight Supper because this one gives 50% uh, NP charge. Um, and then also has crit strength 15% and NP strength 15%, which is very helpful. Uh, we have Halloween Petite Devil from Halloween 1. It's no longer available, so good luck trying to find it, though. Uh, it doesn't need to be max and limit broken. That's the only one of these that I'm about to mention that doesn't need max and limit broken. Because at its basic form, it gives you 50% MP charge and 20% MP generation unbound, uh, which is super good. And then the other one is Pilgrimage to the Other Side, which is from the APOC banner, so it's also a limited CE. Uh, and it also has to be max on limit broken, so it's not the greatest of options. But it does give 50% uh, MP generation, 50% MP damage, and 50% MP charge. And then if it's not unbound, then you lose 5% of the first two things I mentioned, and 10% of the last, so not very good. It needs to be max on limit broken. Um, and here's the other thing. You have to use these, all the ones I mentioned, you also have to use them with... Um, all right, one moment. Let me find the menu for it real quick. You also have to use Mystic Codes. Some of them require Mystic Codes. So here are the two, the three Mystic Codes you'll usually use. One of them is Fragments of 2004, and that's only because of this skill three right here, which increases NP gain. At level 10, it is 50, and I want to say at... Uh, let me actually quickly find what the other one is at level 1, because most people will have this level level 1 because they, they don't use it. Okay, at level 1 it's 30%, and then at level 10 it is 50%. Uh, okay, next one we've got the Harry Potter Mystic Code, which is the Mage's Association. The only reason this is used is specifically for the Spiriton transfer. Increases the MP gauge for one ally. And the last one is the, the Plug Suit, and the reason you use the Plug Suit is to swap in another unit to help you with the grinding. Uh, one of those units, now we're going to go back to the Servant menu. Um... One of these is Waver, obviously, because he gives basically 50% with all his stuff. And the other one is Parseus, and the reason it's Parseus is because of the Philosopher's Stone. Um, let me quickly get the details for it, because I also don't have the details on me real quick. Okay, so the Philosopher's Stone. Also, you'll notice the little blue arrow. That means it's not strengthened, or... Yeah, it needs it strengthened. You need it A+. The current one that I'm you see here won't work with what you're trying to do. You need it at A+, because at A+, it increases the NP generation of whoever you give it to for three turns. So at level 1, it's 30% NP rate, and then at level 10, it's 50%. So that can kind of help with, um, if you don't have a waiver, but you all you need is kind of the NP generation, you can use him. Another good person, which is kind of, is not as good as him, but it's only for this little bit, is Bride Nero, which I will quickly show here, because I have her at uh, the top here. Um... It's for this skill right here, but later on, the skill gets the ability to not only give you um, NP gain, it also gives you uh, a charge along with it. So currently, she's not really used that much. It would, there's better choices for using her than um, kind of using her because her NP gain is not as good as Parseus, as I mentioned. 
uh, at, at skill level one, at, at its current form, it's 35% and then 45% at the end. But then once she gets it EX level, uh, it's the NP rate stays the same, which is 35% at skill one and 45% at skill 10. But at level, she also gains the ability to charge the NP, which as I mentioned, so it's 20% at skill one and then 30% at the end. And getting 30% is very good. Um, so she's definitely an option you can do to give to someone. Uh, and finally, you can kind of combine them. All those things I mentioned, all those tools you kind of use together with two Scotties to try and get the um, the loop going. So now I'm going to actually try and show you the loop, as I mentioned, uh, with two different units. One that kind of requires other side things and one that doesn't. So let's go into the Caldea Me. And also, a lot of this is going to change depending on what you're fighting, because if something is like too strong, um, it's going to be very hard to kind of do the NP damage that you need. So let me go here. Let me quickly find the correct friend. Here's the other craft essence I totally forgot to mention. It's this one from Prisma Ilya. Also limited and also has to be max on limit broken. All right, I'm going back to go find a Scotty friend. Okay, found the right friend. So for this one, we're going to be using Achilles, and I'm going to give him the code that is specifically NP gain just to kind of show off that a little bit, so. Because you can all understand giving NP charge, but it's going to be easier to see this. Okay, let's go in. We got two Scotties. This is mine. This is theirs. Let's go. Okay. And it's pretty easy. Once you have everything kind of built up, it's a lot of build up. But once you kind of understand, and this is also with the Max Unlimited Broken uh, Kaleidoscope, by the way. A lot of the, a lot of the farming is 100% kind of needed that you need this thing. Um, some units just straight up can't do it if you don't have a max limit broken kaleidoscope. So experiment with what you got. Um, so you give them both here, and then we go here, uh, okay, and then we go, yes, we go here. Uh, I'm going to go there, then that. That's not going to help with um, the damage part, I just need to get the MP back to kind of help with uh, this. So here it is. Notice the overkill hits that start right here. Right there, and then yeah. Boom. So he has 33%. So not the greatest, but now let's see what he does when you have your NP generation. Because that's what he's about to get. You use that skill right there to give him NP gain. Use one of the Scotties to give here. Another thing you can do is also, um, which I can show here, so give that to him is basically put defense down. A lot of people like to save it for the last node, but if you have a character with a lot of HP, like a Berserker with a lot of HP, you can kind of do this. We can lower their, um, um, you can, why can't I talk? <laughs> you can lower their defense to make it so they take more damage from the NP. There you go. Again, only doing that for the NP gain. Now let's see. He got 33% last time. Let's see how much he gets. He needs to get over 50% to make it worthwhile. And he got 64%, which is perfect. That's all you need from it. Okay. Gonna go here. And... That's it. That's game over. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need anything more because he's a writer, so he can easily take down all these. I should also mention some of the specific units I mentioned um, can only loop against the people that they have class advantage over. Uh, I know for a fact that um, you'll have some trouble NP looping with Summer Ishtar if she is not fighting casters. So that's something to kind of remember. All right, let me go set up the next person. I'll pause right here. Okay, now here's with Atlanta, and this is one of those characters that doesn't need any form. Once you have a Max Unlimited Kaleidoscope, they don't need anything else. They don't need a Mystic Code. They can do basically the loop with the skills that you have. Now, unfortunately, mine isn't super skilled up, so I am going to be employing the defense down early on to kind of help with uh, the fact she doesn't have that. All right, let's go here. Go here. Go here. And... And then we'll go here. Wait. Yes. Go here. You'll notice that she does not have class advantage against these foes at all. So 
Like I mentioned, a lot of people do need class advantage, but Atalanta belongs to a specific group that they can kind of... Everything, I think, except their weakness, they kind of have no problem looping. And there she is. She got exactly 50%. And that's at skill 1. That's at skill 1. She has skill 1. Now, to kind of save... No, wait. Let's go here. Then I will use this. Then this. Again, this is only specifically because she's low on skill, so I'm doing these early. Uh, that should be perfectly fine. Yeah. Scotty should not be able to kill this thing in one hit. So he told you. She comes in, and she just needs to get 50%, and we're perfectly good. And again, skill level 1 at the NP generation when you need. 61%. That was actually way more than we needed. So maybe I went a little bit too hard <laughs> on that specific go. But yeah. Use this. So then the question starts going like, well, what if I don't have a max unlimit uh, kaleidoscope? Um, at that point, all you need now is a kaleidoscope. She's not going to be able to kill uh, the last dude by herself, but it's fine. Um, she's got the crit damage. We'll take it down. Um, what was the question I was trying to ask? She's also NP1, by the way. So someone like Lancelot needs NP2 to even be viable for... What? That was unexpected. Huh. What? That... Okay, one moment. Because now I feel like I need to recreate everything I just did. I just realized it's because my Scotty's skill 1 is in level 10. So... You really need to get them to level 10. <laughs> That's the reason why she wasn't able to completely kill them. Okay, I'll solve that. I was like, what did I mess up? And the answer is the thing I messed up is that, yo, get your Scotty to level 10 on skill one and skill three. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of basic end of the guide. You can kind of try and figure out, actually, let me leave a chart. A lot of the things I mentioned also aren't bringing up later JP stuff. Um, we will get there when we get there. There's a lot of units to help out, a lot of strengthenings that can help out with the specific quick meta. But for the time being, to keep it simple, I'm not really bringing them up until the time comes that we actually need it. So I am going to end this showing a kind of chart to kind of help you out with what you need, which is the chart I used a whole bunch. So one moment. Okay, here it is. Uh, again, this is the prerequisite that you have two Scotties. So this is kind of the way you can look at there also is a couple units here that uh, we don't have yet like bradamante which is coming later um but yeah you can see here max and limit broken kaleidoscope can basically be used with everyone and then you can use some combination of other stuff i should also mention that this specific thing isn't like oh you have to do this i think you should actually go out and experiment a little and see what works because i think that will actually help out a whole bunch um, when you're doing stuff. This is only just, again, a super quick, easy way for you to kind of understand it and then get to do it on your own. Um, so even if something, and this is also very old and outdated at this point, um, there will be more stuff coming when JP comes around. And trust me, you'll know because everyone will start saying like, yo, 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 when <laughs> the JP good stuff comes up, NA will know in advance, so don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you found it in any way helpful, remember to leave a like. If you want some more in-depth look about how to kind of do this stuff, um, you can check out the links I provided down below, which should help you out a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So good luck everyone out there, everyone that pulled Scotty, everyone that doesn't have Scotty. It is also 100% possible to farm with just one Scotty and a waiver, by the way. I do it. It's easy. You can do it. Um, you just gotta you just gotta make up for the fact that you're not getting that extra boost of quick damage um, with some other elements. So yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And happy farming, everyone, because God knows I'm farming a whole buttload. Bye!